Okay, so this is another tutorial by Puppet Wing. Um, this is a Blender tutorial on basically uh, creating objects, uh, like editing objects, create you know, so you can make your own objects out of the d default objects. So I'm going to be just using a box, but you can also uh, use other objects. Now, if you want to, my YouTube channel. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to open Blender. This is the default one. Blender 2.49b is what I'm using. So here's our cube. And we're going to just start off by going into edit mode. You can hit tab or click edit mode there. Now let's go and uh, I'm just going to slow down now. But. Um, I'm going to reposition my mic see, so it might not sound like I'm blowing so much into it. Okay, wait. Okay, there we are. So, uh, let's see. There, I think this is better. Not so sure, but whatever. Uh, there. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind my blowing and stuff like that. But basically we're going to show you, so I went into edit mode I'm in my object um, doesn't matter if you have this on or not the cuts that you're making right now with the knife tool will go completely around your whole object so yeah unless you make a knife or actually I'll just do that so hit K and let's just loop cut will automatically make a loop let's just go with the knife right now and click left mouse button click left mouse button click again and hit enter it doesn't make a cut the reason why is because you haven't selected a full face and it's trying to it's trying to basically make a cut from one side to the other where you touch so yeah hit K hit knife you have to go completely start here left click again here and then you can keep clicking and all this stuff and make weird objects but I'm just gonna go like this hit enter as you see it makes a full loop automatically between the vertices and on other objects it wouldn't make a loop but uh, because we're using like a basic object it makes a loop Whereas if you really wanted a loop, you'd use the loop cut. You would use the loop cut if you really wanted a loop. Uh, now, let's go Control Z, hit 1 again, hit K, and we're going to do midpoints. Won't do much difference on this. Uh, you know, you can experiment which cut you want. Multi cut will create two cuts by default, uh, spaced evenly between where you make your cut. So I'll just demonstrate this. Select there, select there. Remember to hit enter when you're done. Uh, otherwise, you'll get something funky and you'll just keep clicking and you can get like a whole bunch of edit things. I'll demonstrate that next. But as you can see, made two evenly spaced cuts, creating three evenly spaced faces, evenly sized, going, you know, vertically, not horizontally. But yeah now but that's because I made a vertical cut I mean a horizontal cut sorry uh, let's go control Z that hit K and let's just go uh, knife exact hit one uh, one on the numpad okay one on the numpad then hit K knife exact because I was a knife mode but so I can like make clicks now not all these will be recognized I know so hit enter and as you can see some of the ones that weren't angled properly were recognized so go control Z let's try and make sure that all these are going to be recognized I'm going to make another knife exact so this one will be recognized this one will probably be recognized this one and we're going to make like a little square in here and hit enter and okay that didn't work out so well hit K again knife exact 
you have to be kind of precise here try and just click on the edges there enter okay it doesn't seem to do that control Z hit K maybe it's midpoint so I'll just okay so basically it doesn't recognize a lot of them I don't know what's going on hit uh, yeah so I don't know I was able to do it before so once you start making too many um, you know like I was doing there this is probably it making too much cuts in one motion this is why I don't suggest doing that it won't recognize them all and most of the time it won't be as accurate as you've seen me demonstrate right there uh, so yeah just basically make one cut at a time makes the most sense so in this tutorial I'm going to be making a cube and uh, at the beginning so we're just going to make like it this box might look more like a cube uh, like as in um, well this is a cube but I mean a die as in like you know dice six sided has the dots from one to six so we'll start by using the uh, multi cut and we're going to just go across and then hit enter and it makes two evenly spaced cuts we'll do the same um, vertically because we just went horizontally sorry I'm like kind of getting confused with that today now that one I held the mouse button you should not really do that because then it doesn't work out so correctly but there now hit three and that on the numpad K multi cut to enter and now we have every face with or every side with nine faces so that's one way to edit your mesh by adding more faces you're going to need to do that at the beginning uh, you know add a small amount of faces and then just keep increasing slowly where you would need to so we're just making a die like I said and we'll just go to right here or it's this add actually control Z that where was it oh, this is why I hate this anyways vertical assign this so that you can actually see some with it like you can see everything all at once so we're just gonna add a modifier it should be down it should be in the um, F9 editing mode add modifier and we're just gonna add subsurf this will basically add vertices to smooth our edges so we'll add one two three four seems a little extreme we'll just go with three and render level will be three and click apply now it says you cannot do this in edit mode but right now we'll just make sure so this is what we want and you can see our original faces now we're going to just switch back to object mode you could hit tab as well to do that and my, our modifiers are still there hit apply and now our modifiers are permanent okay so then let's go into object mode F7 uh, wait no back to edit mode sorry okay edit mode now under the link and materials section um, you should be set smooth and now this object looks like a die remember that you'd want to set smooth at the very end now let's go into uh, more editing so let's just set solid so it looks like the original so now you can see these little squares and stuff now we're gonna go into another mode of editing which would be much better for creating faces uh, not object mode but sculpt mode which I don't know how to use but basically right mouse button We'll get it to extrude. So we're just going to kind of make a face. I 
and this is all extruding right now so So as you can see, number one and two doesn't make much of a difference. It's just like increase this crazy. But yeah. Okay, control Z. Ah, uh, wait. But yeah, we basically. have kind of a face going on here so sculpt and then there's probably okay no don't do that texture wait verts okay no sculpt mode now there should be so now as you see we're just going to go around this area. And it kind of looks like a face. With the chubby cheeks right here or something. If you look at it from the side, it kind of looks like a face or something. So yeah, that will extrude. I, how do I go in depth again? Can't remember. Oh, there we are. So that goes indent. So if you ever want to kind of indent these things back in. Although our face isn't really big enough. So we'll just go to uh, maybe try and like smooth this out. So yeah, basically I just went and chose the option from add to sub under the sculpt section because it's automatically multiers. So under sculpt, you can just this is how you're well, basically what you're doing is sculpting. So we're going to make this kind of thing look more like a face. Okay, so now we got that basic outline. Let's okay, I think I went too much in there. So let's go back to add. This doesn't look too realistic. Now right there I wanna kinda just go to size, decrease that. So it kind of looks more like a nose. Okay, so that looks like kind of like a funky nose right now, but. So now it looks like. A little bit more like a regular nose and you know make a happy face and switch to add 